Hello, today we will discuss about void pointer and pointer to function. So let's first start with the void pointer. So for example, I have one variable that is integer number is equal to 20. I have another variable that is character ch is equal to capital A. And I have one variable float pi is equal to 3.14f. Now I have three different pointer which stores the address of respective data type. For example, integer pointer that is IP is a storing the address of number. I have one more pointer that is the character pointer CP is equal to address of CH. And I am writing here float pointer that is FP is equal to address of pi. Now I want to simply print the value. So I am simply printing over here percent is D. And whenever I print pointer integer pointer, then it will print the value of integer. And whenever I print percent in C and character pointer, it will print the value of character. And whenever I print point to F, that is the float pointer, it will print the value of float. Whenever you run this, you will be able to see the output. And that is number is equal to 20, character is A and float is 3.5. What happened in this particular program? This integer pointer is storing the address of integer value and character pointer is storing the address of character and float pointer is storing the address of float. But I want to declare only one pointer and using that pointer, I want to store the address of each and every data type. So is there any way to do this? Yes. C provides the concept of void pointer and void pointer can point to any data type. For example, let me declare here void pointer VP. What this VP will do here you can just simply write VP is equal to address of number and here you can simply print the value of your integer and you can write pointer VP. But whenever you write void pointer you need to cast this white pointer into explicit into the required data type and our data type is integer. So here we can simply cast our void pointer into integer pointer and whenever you cast into integer pointer, you will be able to access the integer value using the void pointer. And what is the wonderful benefit? Simple. Now you can point to any data type. For example, if you are wanting to character, then you need to cast your value into character pointer. Here you can simply print percentage. See, if you are pointing to float pointer value, then you just need to write float. If you are pointing to floating point value, then you just need to provide the address of the float. And here you can simply write point to F. And here you can simply cast float pointer. And now whenever you run this particular program, see here, no need to take the separate pointer for each data type. Only one pointer is sufficient and that is the void pointer. Using the void pointer, we can point to any data type and we can extract the same. Not only variable. If you want to point to a function, then also you can. And that concept is known as a pointer to function. Let me give the example for the same. For example, I have one function that is integer and add. What I am doing here? I am just getting the two numbers from the user and simply returning the addition of this two number. I have the same functionality, same function declaration and definition. Just the change is what that is the name. For example, if it is a subtraction, then I am simply returning A minus B. If it is a multiplication, then I am simply writing here A multiplied by B. And if it is a division, then I am simply writing here that is A divided by B. Now I want to do what? I want to simply point to this function using the pointer. So how we can do this? Very simple. For example, here you can just to simply write here that is your written type of your function that is integer over here. Now here you can define the name of your pointer 
I am just giving the name of my pointer is PTR and here you can provide the argument. So this is simple. You can say pointer declaration. Now I can assign the value like my pointer can point to any function. For example, if I am writing PTR is equal to address of add, then my pointer is pointing to add function. So whenever you write here printf percentage D and if you are calling the function PTR and if you are passing for example value 20 and 10 then it will simply make the addition of this two number and it will display 20 plus 10 that will be 30. So whenever you run this what happens see it produces the 20 plus 10 over here it means my pointer is pointing to the function addition not only this runtime you can do what if your pointer is pointing to addition then it simply makes the addition if this pointer is pointing to subtraction then it will simply deduct the value that is a minus b if it is pointer is pointing to multiplication then it will simply make the multiplication of this two number and if your pointer is pointing to division then it will simply a divided by b so what happened whenever you run this what happens see there are four output 20 plus 10 30 20 minus 10 10 20 into 10 it will be 200 and 20 divided by 10 it is 2 so this my pointer is pointing to function and i can point to any function and this concept is known as a pointer to function so that's it from my side if you like this video then please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you all